hello everyone welcome back to this uh, our tech space guys so uh, today's video is about github okay github and we want to walk you through a process on how you can create your workspace in github github has done an amazing job by trying to uh, integrate and create a workspace your coding workspace within uh, github so that you can be able to do your coding directly from your github account and not need to maybe clone the code onto your local machine that is going to slow down your machine and will make it a little bit difficult for you to quickly code and uh, do your commits do your changes do your pushes your pushes to within your uh, github repository guys okay so uh, let's go ahead let's dive into the video uh, right in okay the first thing you want to do github is a source code manager that is uh, it's owned by microsoft microsoft bought github in 2018 guys and so um, microsoft has been doing an amazing job trying to make sure they can be able you can be able to create your coding space and they are also doing a lot to make sure that you can have your project bought within uh, github that one is going to be a whole different video so this video is typically to show you how you can configure your github workspace if you don't have a github account you can go ahead and sign up right from here okay you just you just you, just, you continue from here and you, you are just required to put in your email right from here and you can continue and you sign on we can show you that in another video but if you have an account already like my this is my account and you want to configure your workspace so that you can code directly from your github account and you don't have to where you do not have to uh maybe go to your local machine and have it your machine slow down because you have a lot of workspace on your machine on your local machine so you log on to your github account right from here and once you're in your github account you go to your icon go to your um, uh, user icon right here right from here you click right here and you will see your workspace from here is called your workspace and you go ahead click on your workspace okay it prompt is prompting me to log in and i'm going to log in guys okay let's me log in let's see what i have yep so once that happened i'm going to say ask me that later so you are within your workspace okay you are within your github account right now so you go from your code space your code space you click on that and right here you do have a couple of uh, uh, already uh, pre uh, parameter like like some of the workspaces that has already been uh, configured based on your different coding languages okay you can have your Jupyter coding workspace your react if you are working in react and you have just so many uh, workspace node.js uh, you also have express and also Django, flash and all of that so if you are working on any of these you are coding on any of these uh, coding languages you can be able to just pick up any of the workspaces and you can work from there uh, conveniently but you can go from your blank it's a complete you can use a complete blank workspace like the one here um, if I click on this one okay you can up, you can upload a template if you have uh, some template local templates on your system you can do that i do have a two workspace right here that i created workspace one and workspace two but if you don't have one you can go ahead and create one and that is exactly what we want to show you right now you can let's go back from that uh, your code space again and you can choose the blank uh, option and once you choose a blank option it's going to take you um to this configuration this one right here it's trying to take me to one of my already configured uh, workspace um, which is okay once it takes us over there it's going to take us to a blank workspace this is what it's going to it's going to look like once you go to your workspace once you click on blank workspace this is what you're going to have you'll see it has your name is going to have your name let me increase that a little bit guys to make sure that you can see that 
okay i'm going to do this okay i hope everyone can see this let's increase that a little bit again okay so this is what you're going to have guys so you do you are going to have like this system where you can have your name this is typically your username right here from your github account and within this workspace uh, this is a blank workspace okay and you can configure it as you want if i ls right from here there is no folder right here and so you can set your working folders as you want so you can create maybe you can uh, create a working folder let's say working um we can call it station okay station one okay station one and oh yeah call it that uh, folder station one okay and you can create another folder okay it depends on the number of folders the number of directories that you want to create i'm calling it folder but it is also directories okay and you can do that call it a uh, station two and that is how you can create uh, multiple stations within your uh, repository and uh, within your uh, working directory and work within these directories okay and you can go within this directory and create files as necessary right you can cd into the uh, let's cd into the first station okay let's go into the first station and see what we have right here the first station one so we can see it into the first station we are right now in in the first station and you can create your files as necessary right you can create your files as necessary okay let's say file one dot tst and you can do that okay you can do that you can create your files within that workspace as necessary file to .est and that way you can go ahead do your coding right from here okay you can do your coding as you want so this is an amazing one this is a great one because you are directly doing this uh, remotely from the from your github account okay you are not doing this from your from your system from your machine which is going to maybe cause your machine to have a lot of work that is going to slow down your machine and all of that so that is totally fine this is what uh, and with this uh it's totally fine because you can clone your repo repositories okay you can clone your repositories in these different uh, workspaces as necessary i'm going to go ahead and look out for one repo let's look out for one repository and, and clone it in this workspace this is the workspace right now and we can clone a repository right in here let's go look at for any one of my repositories let's grab this one okay and let's do that and we can get that repository right there and you can clone it in your workspace this is in workspace one you can do a git clone right from here okay you can do a git clone right there let's see okay let's see what we have Yes, so it's it's telling me to allow if I do want to allow this to be cloned. Okay, that's it. And you can do that. I'm going to do this first, and I'm going to do a git clone again. It wasn't. It's uh, I've configured it to secure uh, some of the uh, work that I'm pasting. Sometimes it will prompt me to allow versus not allow it to be pasted so once you do that you can do clone that repository in that workspace okay and you can work with it directly from within your github account and once you do this it's easy to do your changes from within your branches and be able to push it do your pushes just still within your github account okay which is totally fine okay and then um if you want to change the uh, workspace name it's still fine you can do all of that like right now if i return back to my github account come over to my uh let's say we go to our workspaces okay 
you go to your code space so you observe that i do have three workspaces now this is the one we just created right now and you can name it you can rename it okay you can rename that workspace and call it um um let's say um uh, you can call it um demo workspace okay this is just a demo demo workspace and and that's it once you do that you save them okay so i initially have this one i've been working on this one for a while workspace one workspace two and this is one that the one we just created demo workspace if you like what uh, github is doing and also uh kindly put your comment in the section in the comment section of this video as well as if you have uh, other options or any other way that you are using this code space uh, we'll be more than happy to see how you are using it you can share that in the chat guys thank you guys for watching and we will see you in our next video